New Age movement is a big threat to all religions in the world. Christianity, Muslim, Islam, everything, every form of religion in the world. This whole New Age movement uh, is a very, very big threat. I don't know if you're conversant with what's actually going on in the world, but New Age, New Age, you coming with these new ideas. Not new ideas, actually. These are very, very old ideas. And most of them are actually deep and deeply rooted in principles. And the reason why I say this is a very, very big threat to religion in a way that religions have never seen it before is because of the level of practicality that goes into the whole New Age ideology. First of all, they are very, very practical and they are very, very people-oriented. People-oriented, I mean, is that in the whole New Age concept, they don't believe like, you know, all this stuff of, okay, there's a pastor, there's a preacher who is like very close to God, you know, he, he will hear from God and come and tell us. You know, in the New Age stuff, everybody meditates, everybody goes in and gets the work done because everybody's seeking themselves. They want to better their lives. Everybody's doing the meditation by themselves. Everybody's uh, reciting the mantras or doing all the stuff. Uh, raising their frequencies, raising their vibration, all the kind of stuff. So the level of practicality that, that exists in the new age, because of why? People are very, very practical when it comes to that stuff because of the level of uh, instant result. Not like exactly instant, but like the testimonials speak for themselves, you know? And when it comes to people, people at the end of this, most people don't really, 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 really want to like care about God. They just want to, you know, God, like, save me, you know, give me good health, give me all that stuff. So think about it. What happens when uh, some other means, some other avenue comes that could actually help them to meet their daily needs, get the, the dream house, the dream job, you know? Very, very result-oriented. So that's what the whole New Age movement is actually trying to bring, you know, the age of Aquarius, open up people's mind, enlightenment. And it's a very, very big threat because, you know, uh, most religions actually dipped in, uh, deeply rooted in faith. And faith has to do with believe, uh, believe, and there are various forms of belief. There is a belief that comes from knowing, like you have a personal relationship with God, God speaks to you, you hear God. There's that form of belief, and there's also a belief that comes from, you know, the pastor said something and you heard and you believe that it's true. So there are forms of, uh, various forms of belief. So depending on any level you are, uh, depends, it determines the kind of temptation you face when it comes to battling this new wave of uh, what is called new age movement. By the way, new age movement is just a uh, repackaging of old, age movement that's what i call it because there's nothing new under the sun all the practices the meditations the mantras and all the stuff these are old uh, technologies and believe me the devil didn't create any of these things like the devil didn't invent meditation but uh when the devil gets into all the stuff he could just pervert things here and there so just keep your eye for that believe me new age is actually a very very big threat because of the level of practicality that people get and the result they see. And that's why probably most of the young people are running to it because young people don't want to pray for five hours, six hours. They want, okay, and nothing happens. They just want, okay, if I meditate for two hours and 40 minutes every day for the next 30 days, I'm going to be rich, all this kind of stuff. And if it works for their friend, it will work for them. Believe me, young people are that crazy. It's just keep an eye for that.